Hey, Mom Lennials, I am so excited to introduce you guys to this awesome Dad Lennial. And yes, he is Andrew Laundry. And he is here with us today because I, well, we got connected through the amazing internet, you know, Facebook. And once we uh, started to talk, we automatically hit it off. We have daughters about the same age. Actually, our, their birthdays are in the same month. So it's really exciting. We have a lot in common, actually. Um, so he and I got together because we are starting to plan a mini series to talk about the dads you know to really be able to pick the brain of a millennial father and knowing what his experience has been through fatherhood and what it's like uh to be a dad in this age you know with technology and with the different social standards and what it is and being self-aware is so important um, and it's part of his message as a dad so i'm so excited please andrew introduce yourself sure thank you for having me and i am too so glad that we were able to connect and begin this conversation that I, I hope that your viewers find helpful and illuminating and, and hopefully thought provoking for, for all of us. Um, I am also the, the founder of a startup called MindFuel, but I do that full time, but I'm also a full time, part time dad, and I love it more than more than anything um but we we were talking about like you know as much as i love being a dad and as, as helpful as i want to be and as you know I, you know i have dreams of being the best dad that there ever was the social standards are changing of what the expectations of fathers are and i i have found that there's not you know has, there hasn't been enough conversation and certainly isn't enough resources to be able to support the development of the kind of father that I want to be, which is very involved, but not too involved. And just like not knowing like when my wife's pregnant or breastfeeding, like I want to do the right thing, but nobody's like taught me what that is. And I think there are a lot of dads who want to do that kind of thing. And hopefully this kind of conversation and interaction with the viewers of Mom Millennials with a dad Lennial will hopefully start that kind of a conversation and lead to something really great. Definitely, guys. Um, Andrew's amazing. He, his work is amazing, as you can see. Um, he actually did my buffer video for Mom Millennials, um, and it's just the beginning for both of us of working together. So I'm really excited to have him with us um, because... Um, not only is he an ama amazing at his job, but he's also an amazing father from what I've seen and in my perspective, guys, yes. <laughs> so um, we're going to be doing this mini series and today I just want to introduce you to him. So I just want to know, like, what do you think, like, what has your journey been like so far into fatherhood? How, did, have, have, you, how have you experienced that? I mean, I've, it's, it, 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 no pun intended, it's a labor of love, right? Like, I love my wife and I love my daughter with all of my heart. And it's been the most incredible, amazing, indescribable experience. But like, let's be real, just like any kind of important journey, it's also hard sometimes. And it's, you know, been frustrating for me at times to want to help and just not know exactly how and just being a new dad as my wife is being you know going through that process of becoming a, a mom we've never done it before and so it's been this beautiful wonderful experience and i just so love watching my daughter grow up and become her own person and um i never i i, I have always wanted to be a dad um i for, well maybe not forever but for a long time mm -hmm. i've wanted and looked forward to being a dad i always thought that it was going to be a boy i think that that might be like a cultural thing that was ingrained in me but i was you know have been pleasantly surprised with being a dad to a daughter and raising her to to already be a very independent minded incredibly strong smart amazing little girl 
That's amazing. And, you know, it's so important um, as part of the motherhood experience to really try to understand uh, how fatherhood has evolved for, for men, you know, and the idea that we get to pick the, the, the brain of a millennial dad, which, you know, all dads are different, definitely. But, you know, to have someone that, uh, you know, is so dedicated, not only to his work, but to his family and to really talk about the struggles, not only like not the struggles, but the, the times where you really needed the support and you maybe couldn't find it or you didn't know how to. Um, and a thing you mentioned before was that you really had the instinct, but you didn't have the resources when you when you went into this. And that's part of the thing that we're really starting to understand is that, you know, a lot of the dads don't know where to go to find out and they don't know what to expect. And I think that's so important in what you've mentioned. And it's going to and that's really a, a key thing of what I would like to, to keep discovering with you is like, how can we help men become more aware of the resources that they are, there are um, so that, you know, the next generation and as, as dads keep coming, there's more. Sorry, guys. My daughter is, um, you know, having a little moment. <laughs> Raw motherhood here. Yes, baby. That's, that's real stuff. Yes, guys, it just doesn't, it doesn't get any more real than this and my face. So we're going to have more real conversations and my, I think actually my phone might die real soon too. Yeah. You, you're a mom, you've got a little kid, it sounds like you might have to attend to, and I don't want to have a, uh, my video go black, but hopefully people will tune in and really love our conversations and join in on the conversations too. Yes, guys, so we'll be doing about four series together. Sorry, mama. <laughs> she can't sorry. wait for the series hi sorry. hey guys sorry for this change of scenery i was hiding out for my daughter she just had a little tantrum but she's good she's with her dad now so to continue um i'm so excited andrew to have you with us i think we're going to be talking about parenthood what it meant what it means to be a parent for a dad you know specifically um and just pick your brain on like how how you process your journey into fatherhood how that was like because i know i pro as women we process it very differently you know so guys i'm so excited to be starting this journey with andrew and just like uh bring your questions bring your questions what do you want to ask a millennial dad it, you know what do you want to know about fatherhood that maybe you're interested in knowing from another perspective and something maybe you can't ask your partner or like you know uh or how you can improve your your relationship we can both work on you know with you so i'm just excited andrew um thank you for being with us of course. And yeah, anything else you want to add? I just hope that people uh, tune in and, and engage in the conversation because, you know, I'm in a lot of ways just as clueless as any other dad might be. But, you know, I think there are a lot of dads out there who, like me, want to know what I need to know. So I'm excited to just get that kind of uh, interaction with other mom millennials too. So. I'm excited for it and thankful for the opportunity to, to do this series with you. No, thank you, Andrew. So, Mom Lanios, thank you for joining us. I hope you enjoyed this little short intro, and there's so much more to come. See ya.